Hello, in this video I want to go over Egypt's planned friendly games from March until June. This is the schedule that the Egyptian national team has in international friendlies from now until the World Cup. The schedule can be updated and there could be more opponents played. I hope there will be. Uh, but this is what is up on the schedule for now. Um, these are the four teams Egypt will be playing that are confirmed. And in this video, I want to go over, I guess, my predictions for them. It's very, very rarely that I predict friendlies, because friendlies are just like anything can happen, because oftentimes teams will use them to experiment with lineups, get their teams prepared ahead of um, the, 2014, the 2018 World Cup, different players trying to stake a claim to be on the narrowed down 23 man roster for each team that qualified. So friendlies are a little they're they're a tricky thing to predict because they're much more volatile and you can get some pretty strange results in them sometimes. So yeah, I'm not going to be predicting every single international friendly for the month of March because that's going to be absolutely nuts because there's literally dozens and dozens of matches taking place, but I will talk about them and I will give um, a sort of like an aftermath uh, analysis once the dust settles by the end of this month. And like I said, I'll be making a, an updated predictions video for the World Cup based on some of these friendlies. I won't take them too much into account because they are friendlies, but they have to be taken into account to some extent because they are at least somewhat a reflection of a team's current form. But in this video, I want to talk about my team specifically, Egypt. Um, these We have two, two matches this month and two matches, one, one in May and one in June. But like I said, that can change. We could add some games to it. I hope we do. Um, but this is what we have for now. So, the first match, we are playing Portugal uh, at a neutral venue. We're playing in Zurich, Switzerland. So, no team has a home advantage. We're playing Portugal first. I think Hector Cooper, like I said, a lot of these managers are going to be experimenting with lineups, trying to find out their proper formation and everything. So. You know, I'm not going to put so much weight onto friendly's result, friendly results unless we do really good or we do really bad. And predicting it, I mean, let's be honest, it's a crapshoot. When it comes to predicting penalties, uh, friendlies, excuse me, um, it's, it's a crapshoot. So, I will say... Uh, through my best, I guess, um, estimation of what I think will occur here. I think that we will lose to Portugal. Um, but because Portugal tends to play to the level of their opponent, and because Egypt is very much a defensive side, I think we would lose I think we're gonna lose it by a one goal margin, like a one zero. So I think we'll lose this one zero. Then we play Greece. We play Greece on March the 27th. The Portugal game is on the 23rd. We play Greece, same venue, Zurich, Switzerland. Greece also themselves a defensive side. I see this being like a 0-0 um, like zero, zero or a 1-1 one, one draw because I just think that we'll cancel each other out. Greece is not a particularly um, very aggressive and attack-oriented side. Um, but they, they didn't make it to the World Cup, unfortunately, so maybe they have nothing to lose. Maybe they could go out and uh, beat Egypt. For now, I'm going with a draw. I think this will be a 1-1 a or a 0-0. Then Egypt in on May... May 26th, Egypt plays against Kuwait. I'm supposing that this is supposed to be 
a um, preparation for the Saudi Arabia game in the World Cup. If that's the case, I think we could have done better because Saudi Arabia is significantly a better side than Kuwait. I would have preferred that we have played another Arab Gulf nation, maybe like Oman or something. No disrespect to Kuwait, but we could have had a better scheduling here, in my opinion. I do think we'll win this game uh, against Kuwait, and it's being played in Kuwait City, so this is the first game that's not on a neutral venue, but still I think we're the better side. I think we would beat Kuwait, I'm going to say 2-0. I suppose the Greece game is also supposed to be rep uh, a preparation for Russia, since they're both Eastern European teams, but still, Greece and Russia play very different brands of football. I'm not really a fan of how we booked these friendlies here, to be honest. I think they're pretty lackluster, which is disappointing. Then this last game, which takes place on June the 6th against Belgium, we are most likely going to be playing on the road in Belgium, so Belgium will likely be the home team. Even though it is a friendly, I still expect us to get thrashed. Uh... Yeah, I think we're going to get thrashed in this game. Scoreline. Let's say maybe like 3-0, 3-1. We're not a high-scoring side, to be honest. We don't concede very many goals either. We only conceded an average of one goal per qualifying game in qualification, which is very, very good. But Belgium, I mean, Belgium is Belgium. I mean, they're just they're just too OP. They're just too strong. So I think Belgium beats us. I'm going to say through, uh, well, hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say they give us a, a proper spanking here. I think they beat us 4-1. So those are my predictions for Egypt's matches. I think we're going to lose to Portugal 1-0. I think we'll tie Greece like 0 0 or 1 1. I think we'll beat Kuwait 2 0. And I think we'll lose to Belgium 4 1. So, those are my predictions for Egypt's friendlies. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe. What do you think? What are your predictions? Maybe I'll see you later today. Have a good one. Much love and peace.